This is Gunfire Reborn. Uh, it's an early access roguelike style game um, that is a shooter with Chinese music and animal characters. So it's a lot of things. Uh, we're going to get into it. New adventure. All right, so this is the only character I think I've unlocked. So that's fine. I'll go with him. Some kind of cat-like creature, I believe. Okay, so I've got I've got a gun. Looking around, really kind of pretty, sort of um, uh, low detail art style, which is really nice, especially for streaming it, because I think I might actually be performing well enough for you to see what's going on, which is great. Oh, I don't have a talent that lets me unlock that box. That's okay. Let's move into the first stage. All right, so this is like many shooters, a game where you run around in an environment and fire guns at enemies. Where's there some enemies? Oh, here's an enemy. So you start with this very simple gun and one simple ability, which in this case is sort of like a, it's like a freeze ability. Oh, it does damage too, apparently. This game definitely rewards precision. So I'm pretty sure these spaces are procedurally generated. I mean, that is definitely in line with the whole roguelike thing. So you see, that's what's supposed to happen when you hit somebody with that uh, with that attack. They uh, they get frozen in place, and you can shoot them all you want. And then as you sort of pick up um, power ups and things like that, sometimes that ability will get even more powerful. It'll start doing more things. Like what is this? A golden goblet. Okay, yeah. So I can pick an enhancement now. So okay, like my, I can get my energy orb attack, which I've been using. Uh, make it. I can make it freeze enemies for two more seconds. Or I do extra damage on my next hit and deal half damage to enemies adjacent to the target. So I energy somebody <laughs> and then I do extra damage with my next hit. And then, oh, I can just carry more smoke grenades, uh, which I haven't used yet, but they're pretty cool. You know, I think I'm going to go for making my freeze last longer. And then, oh, a new gun. Okay, so kind of borderland style you can see the whole list of stats here what this gun does so it looks like it uses normal ammo um does less damage than this but it looks like it's a rapid fire gun and if somebody's burning it does more damage chance of a lucky shot sure go for it all right so now i've got two guns that i can switch between i can have up to three so you can see along the bottom of the screen it's uh Oh, wait, let's see here. Where Where's the most useful place to have my face? I realize I'm covering some of the HUD right now. Let me put myself in the upper right. That just covers my sort of long-term currency, which you probably don't need to see. Uh, I think that's an exploding barrel. Yep, but it didn't do much good. Okay, you can see that this gun does a lot less damage per hit. I love that little squeaking sound that it does whenever it, or more of like a, it's not a squeak, what is it? Like a, a ring? A jingle? A jingle whenever you get a headshot? What's this? All picked up ammo will automatically convert its ammo type to the ammo of the current weapon. Okay, sure. And then, piercing flame. Oh, sniper rifle. All right, so it looks like, I think my baseline gun has infinite ammo, so that's nice. This gun uses special ammo, which I have very little of. And this one uses normal ammo, which I have a little bit more of. Honestly, I'm not super thrilled with the power of this gun, though. I guess if I want to just spray and pray, it's it's okay. But honestly, my, my other guns probably a little better. 
I oh I'm disappointed in the sniper rifle's ability to one shot people. Oh wait no it just killed two of them with one shot. Okay I don't know how the sniper rifle works. So Ranathcord says that the art style in this reminds him of um, Immortal Redneck, which is a thing I have not played. Yeah, my baseline gun actually seems to be pretty good compared to the other ones. Oh, wait, I'm out of shield. That's not good for me. The thing I don't remember is... How to fire my grenades? I've got grenades. Oh, it's Q, that's right. It's in the HUD. Q. So my smoke grenades do damage over time to enemies. And I think they also might occlude a little bit, like either I can't be seen or I can't be shot through them. I'm not sure about that. So we got a treasure chest and another golden goblet, which means an upgrade. Energy orb has one more charge. Okay, so I can use it more often. Toxic smoke. Ooh. A lot more damage from the smoke grenade. But elemental effect chance is minus 50. I don't know what elemental chance it already has. Hmm. Let's let's go with this and see what what difference it makes. Yes, yeah, so I'm not feeling a really strong urge to use my secondary weapons. This, my baseline gun actually seems to be about as good as anything else. Ooh, I didn't know this thing had an area effect. I didn't realize I could hit multiple enemies with it. I'm not sure that I... I don't think I have a melee attack. At least I've never detected one. So if I need to reload, that's it. I need to reload. Oh yeah, throw grenades at me, I'll throw grenades at you. So you get an ability at some point that lets you bust these open and get prizes out of them. So right now they're just standing there teasing me, looking at me like, ha ha, I have things you can't get. Which is actually kind of an interesting choice for a game like this. Like, now I've only played a little bit of this game, but there's a part of me that's like, oh, I, I have to at least play it until I can pop these cracks open, right? Like, not ever popping a crack open seems like a waste. So it, it sort of, it shows you something in the late game. Like, like during the early game, it shows you something in the late game that you're going to want later on. And uh, and sort of teases you enough that it makes you want to stick around and, 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 and explore deeper. Which is cool. I've actually been thinking about, you know, what kinds of things like that we could do in State of Decay. To, you know, give people uh, who have just barely started the game a better sense of what they can encounter later on. Is it Peddler? Okay, so I can pick up... Oh, I can grab a new gun that uses large ammo, which is... Ah, uh, but it's going to do even less damage. Nah, not really that interesting. Um, my health is still good. Yeah, I don't think I need, need anything from that peddler. Um, awesome Twitch Dude asks if I watched the PS5 event, and I definitely did. I'm pretty excited about a lot of stuff I saw there. The thing I was most excited about was seeing that Heart Machine is making uh, another game. It was called, what was it called? Solar Solar Ash? Was that the name of it? I don't remember, actually. Frenzied Shark uses large ammo. I, yeah, let's swap out this gun for that one. See what this looks like. Ooh, it's a grenade launcher. Wow, ah, it flings bodies at me. This looks like it does a lot of damage on a direct hit. Doesn't Didn't impress me that much with what it did when I landed near a guy. But yeah, so I was really excited about Heart Machine. Ah! That was not what I meant to do. Okay, let's have a different gun for shooting guys just running into my face. Yeah, the feedback for headshots is so satisfying. I'm not sure what those bugs do when they catch up with me, and I just am not interested in finding out.
But yeah, I was interested in Heart Machine. What else was I interested in? Wait, what? Who's this guy? A craftsman? Ooh, I can upgrade my guns? Let's upgrade that frenzied shark. Do 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 to do. Frenzied shark. Do 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 to do. Okay, I don't need any hit points. Lose hit points to get gold? No thanks. Okay, so I can make the Frenchie Shark even better? Weapon inscriptions are enhanced. I'm not sure what a weapon inscription is. It's Frenzy Shark plus three. Did it gain anything? I can't tell. So I'm not sure. I'm not completely clear on all of the jargon of this game. And what a lot of this stuff means. Ooh, I take less damage when I'm in my own smoke. Or, ooh, I use energy orb and my shield recharges faster. Let's use this one. So, Ranathcore just filled me in on uh, uh, Immortal Redneck, where apparently it's a roguelike first-person shooter like this one, uh, but it's more fast-paced, definitely on the wild side. It says that you're actually a redneck wheeling around Egypt, and you kind of became a mummy or something? That sounds insane. So that giant shield seems like a problem. Oh. There we go. Okay, so does this thing... Okay, I was about to say, it explodes. If, if this thing doesn't make contact, it just hangs around and doesn't explode for a really long time. Aw. Okay, not liking this guy at all. Time to call in the cavalry. Whew, okay. And no. They're dropping all kinds of guns. Wild hunt. That is a lot of damage for special ammo. Hmm. Does more damage than my dragon thing. Let's give it a try. Oops, I'm out. I kind of missed with my grenade and I'm out of luck there. Okay, this tall person seems uh, like a problem. Let's deal with them quickly. Okay, well that was decent, except I'm totally out of ammo. I mean, out of life now. Not out of ammo, just out of health. But that seems pretty important anyway. Okay, so this thing fires twice and has massive recoil. So I think I probably want to aim at people's legs. I also definitely... Oh, I need to remember that I've got this ability. How? All right, I need to definitely get behind that guy, too, since I don't... Ow! I should have anticipated that. Oh, what? How do you get behind me? Oh, there's three of them. I thought there were only two of them. Okay, well... Oh, I'm dead. But I can revive by spending 14 whatevers. 14 whatevers. Oh, 
Oh, wait. Do I spawn with... Aha! I spawn with more grenades. Aw, oh, bad timing. Okay, so they expose themselves when they fling their swords at me. Oh, and I can get around him while he's frozen, too. So that resource that I spent to revive myself, I've got 16 of it, it looks like, right up there. When am I earning this? Is there something special I need to do to make sure I can revive myself in the future? Okay, more charges. Yeah, let's do more charges for uh, that special ability. So, um, awesome Twitch dude pointed out that uh, I was probably also excited about uh, the new Spider-Man game uh, in the PS5 reveal and uh, the Horizon Zero Dawn sequel. Yeah, I am also extremely excited about those. Mm. I mean, damage is low on these, so, you know, I'm assuming that means that I don't want it. And I, Do I have enough money to craft something? This guy has been real good to me, so, yeah, let's enhance it. Enhance successful. Oh crap. Oh, I'm about to get worked. <laughs> I fought this boss once and uh, it didn't go well, so I'm expecting it to similarly not go well now. Okay, so I need to remember that I've got a dodge ability. I think it's on kind of a slow recharge, so I should only use it to get out of his area effect. I think that's still damaging me, though. Yeah, it is still damaging me, and I'm not sure what to do about that. Except, can I lock him down? Oh, I'm dead. And I don't have enough currency to revive. So, that was a really quick trip to that boss battle. Let's... Let's give this another try. I'm a sad cat. I'm a very sad cat. Ooh, I got some soul essence. Is that the thing that I revived with? I think so. Or is that just the amount I already had? Okay, so I can spend... Oh, okay, so I spend this soul essence to level up, but I can also spend it to revive. So if I waste it all reviving, I won't get to use it to level up. That's interesting. Okay, like so this health enhancement, for instance, costs 10. And these cost 20. Special ammo, or more, more room for ammo. I haven't really gotten used to which ammo I like the best, so let's just go with more health. And then this is going to be wasted, so I'll just, you know. Yep, can't do anything with it. Okay, so I've unlocked a new scroll? And a new weapon by getting little achievements. That's cool. All right, let's give this another try. And by the way, you can tell from that starting screen that this is potentially co-op, so that could be pretty fun. All right, so I'm back to vanilla gun. Nothing special. I definitely need to be a little bit more evasive than I've been historically. Like, I mostly just go all out attack. I haven't really been. That is so little damage. I haven't really been as focused on avoiding getting hit, which is a problem. <laughs> so, for each second, the player doesn't deal any damage to weapons, plus 10 weapon damage. Okay, so like, if I just sit here and don't damage anyone, I, I build up to my next shot being more powerful?
Ooh, a bunch of scrolls. First ammo in the magazine deals extra damage. And then plus 35% weapon damage and skill damage, but crit no longer performs extra damage. Okay, maybe I want that. I don't know if I want that. What is this guy? Oh, wow, another gun. Sniper rifle. So these both use the big nasty uh, ammo. So that's not great. Having two weapons that use the same ammo just means once you run out with one, you can't switch to the other. You kind of want to spread it out. Oh, my energy germ will no longer freeze enemies. Now, I'm not really interested in that. Extra fire damage or... Okay, more research. I like that recharge speed thing. We'll do that. All right, here we go. Yeah, that was a bad shot. A better shot. Okay, I kind of like uh, not having to get anywhere near them. That's nice. It's a little e easier to dodge their shots. Did he just kill himself? What was that? Okay, so this is just a massive rocket launcher. <laughs> Holy crap, it is a massive rocket launcher. <laughs> it's just taking everybody out in one shot. I've only got seven shots left, though. Let's uh, be a little less wasteful. I'm not sure why my smoke grenade... I don't know what increases the damage of my smoke grenade, because when I started out, it was going... Uh, it was doing like 80-some damage. Now it's doing in the hundreds? Oh, you know what? I, I picked up I picked up a uh, an upgrade, didn't I? That increased my skill damage. And that's probably what it means by skill damage, is my grenades, because I think that like the energy orb, the thing that happens when I hit E, and the um, and the grenades, those are special to my character. I think that if I switched to a different character, they would start with different powers like that. Um, nope. 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 Don't want any of those things. So Ranath would ask, are you always this cat-looking dude, or are there other characters to choose from? I think that at first the cat is the only option. I think you unlock more characters, uh, but because this is in early access, I'm not sure how many characters are currently available to unlock. I think it might just be as, as few as one other character right now. Okay, well, that's not very effective. Let's try this. Much more effective. And it uses the same ammo. So, like, yeah, there's no reason for me to ever fire that sniper rifle. This thing uses the exact same ammo and kills way more effectively. We've got some options here. So, oh, we got the shotgun thing, special ammo. Or large ammo. Okay, you know what? Let's, um, let's... I'm not sure how it chooses which weapon to replace, but I think it's the one in my hands. So let's grab this one with the scorching rounds. And next time I get the opportunity to up my fire damage, I should take it. Give one occult scroll, get $165. Which scroll would I give? That one is the extra skill damage. I like that one. First ammo in the magazine does extra. Ooh, and so that's probably... One reason my rockets are doing so much damage is because this thing is upping them because every single rocket is the only one in the magazine. And then... 
this one I'm not quite as worried about. Yeah, let's get rid of that one. Sell it. Get some cash. And we'll spend that elsewhere. Oh, hello. So am I setting them on fire? Hard to tell what effect I'm having. Speedy pursuit. Oh, lucky shot chance after using dash. I guess I should use dash occasionally then, huh? I really do tend to like slow firing hand cannons. It's just sort of my style. I don't understand uh, what was I gonna say the difference between the blue shields and the orange I assume is armor the yellow armor like there are two different kinds of secondary health bars that these enemies can have and I can't really tell what the difference is between them Okay, I am suddenly very damaged. Not sure what happened. Not taking any chances getting at the big guns while I recover. Okay, well, that was a miss. Sheesh, so many of these little beetles. Okay, something just healed me, but I don't know what it was. Is it something I picked up? Aura of Venom. I think Venom is... Well, this thing does more... The one I've got in my hand does more damage. Uh, I'll hold on to it. Slow firing hand cannons, that's my thing. Okay, what other upgrade do I want here? So you'll notice that I, I'm pretty sure this is this game was probably developed somewhere besides the United States because here and there you get these like little English translation problems. I'm not really certain about that. That's the impression that I get. Okay, so let's get more charges of our energy orb that we never remember to use and try to remember to use it now. Is it going to auto reload for me? Nope. Okay. Okay, I need to not let this guy hit me anymore. There's more of him? Whew, alright. I'm very aware of how low my health can get, so I'm being cautious. I need to remember to use my energy orb. I like that they call them uh, long bowmen when really they're tall bowmen. Argus. Huh. Yep, not interested. Alright. Let's see. Oh, there's another one of these guys up there. Ah! Stop hitting me. So these guns that I'm unlocking, I assume that I'm unlocking them to randomly discover in future games. I, I assume this work, that works kind of like uh, Dead Cells. Where when I do these little achievements that oh that unlock stuff, what I'm really getting is sort of a chance at, at future die rolls, basically. Come on. Die naturally. Oh, sheesh. Alright, alright. 
sure. Let's revive. Mostly because it'll be more interesting for you to watch if I'm not just giving up. Oh, sheesh. Nah, oh, oh, that's not what I want at all. I didn't realize that those uh, arrows were like seeking arrows. Sheesh. Ow, there's a lot of health. Oh, gosh, what is going on? That didn't work. There we go. All right. Okay. What what did I get here? What's this? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm. Yeah. Yeah. The guns that I like the guns that I've got so much. Like I'm just not really seeing much value in picking up any new ones. All right, blinding sphere. The energy orb has a bigger explosion. Huh. Yeah, let's go with this. And I just need to remember to actually use my energy orb. Ranith Cord says that the, uh, the the devs of this game were uh, it looks like they were from Hong Kong, which yeah, that makes sense. What? This is weird. <laughs> this looks like a very sketchy power. Like I'm doing damage to myself to steal life? Like that feels that feels odd. Refill all ammo. Sure, let's do that. Let's make sure we've got all the stuff we can possibly have here. Because we're about to get completely worked by this enemy. Well, that's not good. Ow. Okay, well, I'm already down at almost nothing. But I'm dead. That's <laughs> okay. I admit, I wasn't doing that great job of dodging his attacks. But come on. <laughs> okay, I think what we're learning is that I suck at this game. Uh, Seem to do okay at the lead up to the boss not great at the boss so let's uh i used a lot of special ammo let's raise my capacity for that and that's it yep let's go back to the inn all right and I've, un I've unlocked some more stuff so you know as i keep going you know i can keep unlocking more things and eventually you know have the power to actually survive the first boss for more than five seconds all right but I think uh, I've played enough of this for now to sort of, you know, give the idea of what this game is. I'm sure that there are people out there watching this who could play this game much better than I do. And it does, I mean, I gotta say, it runs really smoothly, uh, really kind of satisfying combat. I love the sound of a headshot and the feeling of impact that I get from a lot of my shots. Like, this game feels really good to play, even though I apparently have just not figured out how to even start fighting the boss. So with that, we'll switch over to our end screen here and wrap up the video. And we'll move on to some other mysterious game.